Hello everyone and a big warm welcome to 2020, my first metal detecting video of the year. This is Dave, you're watching The Detected. Today was meant to be a video where we were going to be around the Parbold area. I went out this morning, got onto that field and I had about three hours of the worst session I've ever had in my life. It was just can slow, little pieces of metal and it was an absolute nightmare. So I've made the uh, plans to come out to uh, Southport Beach around that area today. I'm going to be targeting just where this tide's come in today. You can see where it's been in washed up to here so I can see that it has stripped away a bit of the sand. We've probably only got about two hours so I'm going to crack on anyway. I'll see you on the first hole. Alright guys, I'm not running through the headphones because uh, there's no way you'd hear these tones through me headphones if it was this windy. So anyway, yeah, we got our first target here. As always, I'm running it in either Field 2 or Beach 2. Today I've got it in Beach 2. Showing up at 22. By 22 again. And it's about there. Let's have a look. Guys, I've got it out just in the corner of this plug here. Let's have a little look. And there it is. It's an old pound coin. There she is. Alright guys, next target. It's coming in at 16. By 16 again. You can see it's quite shallow. It is a coin, very crusty one. Yeah, I think that is, I don't know what that is. I, I think it could be an old Tempe or something, I'm unsure. I'll clean it up anyway and uh, I'll let you know on that. Okay, we got a whisper of a target here. Keeps vanishing, but very very stable the numbers where's it gone that's gonna make me out to be a liar now isn't it there it is so we're getting twenties again it's somewhere around there it must be deep it is deep Coming in at 20 all the time, 21, 20. I'm gonna dig this one anyway. We're about there, let's have a look. All right guys, we can, well, it doesn't really do it justice, but that, trust me, is a lot of sand. And whatever it is, is deep. It's just there. And it's looking like lead, I think. Yeah, it, uh, in two minds to say whether that's actually a, a musket ball or something. I'm unsure. It's the right weight and the right size. If it was a musket, it's uh, hit something anyway. Yeah, deep anyway. Good find. I was just walking past this, and it is a piece of pottery. But yeah, still, that's quite old. That. I just wanted to uh, take this opportunity just to tell you all about Tom who's currently not with me today and he's suffering at home with the man flu, which of course is a real thing. I've had it and I'm sure many of you guys have. So let's all hit Tom in the comments and wish him a speedy recovery so we can get out tomorrow or Monday. Hi right, guys, we've got another target coming in now. We're in a very bouncy 15 to 17. There it is again, 15, 16, so we're going to dig this one, that is loud. Whatever it is, is out, loud and clear. Let's have a little look at this. She's right there. And we're 
on 20p. There she is. Hi guys, I've ventured out a little further here and uh, I don't know really if you can uh, even call that a coin. It is totally unidentifiable. If I had to put my money on it, I'd say a penny. But still, a target's a target and a coin's a coin. We're on our next target now. And this is uh, very high numbers. Get 28, could possibly be lead. Big piece of uh, tin foil or can or something. Or even a large coin. So, let's have a look. Hi guys, I've been testing these little clods here and I've got it down to this one. And it is, again, another coin. There she is. Hi right, guys, we're getting a, another target here now. It's a bit on and off. Coming in everywhere between 18 and 23. So I'm gonna dig it. And it's about there. Let's have a look. I believe we've got it out. It's only relatively small. And we've got it. Minute. You know what, I might be seeing things. I'm just gonna clean this because I can see a bit of gold on there. Yeah, no. It's not gold, but <laughs> nearly fooled me there. Nearly fooled me. I think it's brass brass piece fragment of something still though nearly had me after that chain all right guys we're on another target now it's reading in at 15 16 very loud and crisp there it is again 15 16 and it's about there only shallow again so try and get a live dig See if she's in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's where she is. Come on. And all that for a piece of lead. <laughs> Still though, it's in the bag. So guys, we have got a target now, but I'm just interrupting just to tell you about our 500 subscriber giveaway. That giveaway will be taking place somewhere around when we get 500 subscribers but there's a few good prizes to be had so definitely uh, stay tuned for that anybody subscribed or anybody that subscribes from now to the 500 subscriber mark you'll all be entered into the draw so it'll just be a random number generator and we'll draw out your names we can't do it live unfortunately because apparently we have to have a thousand subscribers if anybody does know a way around that do let me know in the comments but uh, yeah, so we're anyway we're on a, another target now. I'm gonna find it because I've just lost it. Always the way, isn't it? Where is it? There it is. So it's coming in at 22. By 21, 22 again. It's only small, whatever it is. It's about there. See if we've got that. Oh yes, she's in there, all right. Let's have a little look. <sighs> huh. Oh yeah, just had it and dropped it. Yeah, it's another coin. There she is. Very dirty. Bound coin. Lovely. Just come over to all this uh, shell line here, because I know a lot of stuff does get washed up with all the uh, shells coming in with the uh, tide, but we've got a stubble beep in here. Double beep in at a 12. So whatever it is, is on the surface, but it is a, a solid tone. I can see it there. 
feels like lead, whatever it is. It's a lead fragment or something. Curved. I'll put a picture up of this anyway. I don't think it is anything, uh, anything significant, but still, you never know. guys, I was actually just uh, doing a bit of b-roll if you like there, <laughs> just uh, get a bit of metal detecting in the video, but yeah, whatever we've got is in this clod. It was reading 22 bang on both ways. Do you know the machine yet, the Equinox? I can tell you right now, reading 22 solid both ways, it's going to be a pound coin. What do you think it's going to be? Now look at that, bang on. 22 every time, pound coin. We've got quite a quite a few pound coins today actually, so a bit of spendables, can't go wrong with that. Hi guys, I am uh, virtually running out of uh, light here. But I'm back on this old uh, shale path and I'm getting a, a 19. Seems quite deep. Keep swiping that there, you can see it's 246, but about eight inches deep it is, still coming through quite clear both ways 18 19 yep it's about there you can just about see how deep this hole was now I dug it all out so the pinpointer goes right right past there look there's the top of it the yellow markings on it so what have we got And it was a coin. Nice greeny, as you can see. Oop. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's just a two uh, p. To be honest with you, maybe a half penny. I'll check when I get in, but still, a coin's a coin. Hi right, guys. This is going to be my last target because I'm freezing. And I've almost got no light, but it's reading 21 and 22. 21, 22. Going both ways. Meeting in the middle there, so that's definitely where it is. This will be a live dig. Let's have a look, see if we've got that. Oh, I can see it listening. It is a pound coin. There she is. That's the one. You know what? I think it would be. I think it would be uh, wrong for me to not call this video Poundland <laughs> because we've uh, pretty much had pound after pound after pound. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up now because I'm getting really cold, and as you can see, we're virtually nearly out of light. So. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.